Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Jason Grenauer. And I'm Micah Smith. Tonight we're following up on a chaotic scene at Eagle Crest High School, specifically a basketball game there after a fight broke out last night and sent one person to the hospital. Denver 7's Christian Lopez spoke with a student who captured the fight on video and has the latest on the law enforcement investigation part of all of this. Now we do want to warn you, this video is graphic. Officials tell us several fights broke out here at Eagle Crest High School during the basketball game against Smoky Hill Wednesday evening. Several off duty deputies were working the game, but they had to call for backup to break up the fights. All of a sudden you see people running. Matias Calderon is a student at Eagle Crest High School. He was there when the chaos broke out. I don't know what was happening. Then I turned around. I see people fighting. He captured this video. It was crazy. I was so surprised. We've blurred the video because the fight involves minors and we want to conceal their identities. Officials with the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office say one person was taken to the hospital. We're told it wasn't a student from either school. It is not only disturbing, but it's sad and it's uh, it's scary to be honest. Frankie right Sanchez Sr. is a former wrestling coach at Eagle Crest High. Although I'm not coaching there, I still have a good connection with um, some of the teachers, some of the staff, and uh, you know, some of the students, and it's uh, it's sad that um, any one of them could have been involved. He's speaking out, calling for stricter punishment when something like this happens. This kind of stuff gets overlooked, and they don't want it to seem like it's a problem, but it is. This could very well be my own kids or one of the kids I coach. Cherry Creek School District says violence of any kind is not tolerated and say anyone found to be involved in fights will face serious disciplinary consequences and may even face legal repercussions. I feel bad for the guy because you don't, you never know what could happen to the guy. He could have uh, maybe died. Matias is hoping this will be a learning lesson for his fellow classmates. Hey, don't fight because you might get in trouble maybe get arrested and it can ruin your life. We spoke with the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office and the Cherry Creek School District. They tell us they are working together to identify all who were involved. In Aurora, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Now the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office says the person taken to the hospital was awake and speaking at the time. So far, no arrests have been made. Digging deeper into safety concerns in schools, Colorado's anonymous reporting system, Safe to Tell, saw an increase in reports at the beginning of the school year. It shows reports were up 40% between August through December compared to last year. The AG's office says last month, Safe to Tell received more than 2,000 reports, mainly concerned with bullying, suicide, and other issues.